Hello and welcome. I'm Ben from Digi International. This video is a demo of how to configure an Ike v1 IPsec VPN between a router running Digi Accelerated Linux or DAL DAL and a Cisco router. I've configured the Cisco router as a VPN responder and it will accept inbound VPN attempts from any IP address. The inbound VPN from the DAL router will be in aggressive mode. Here is a summary of the configuration already applied to the Cisco. Phase 1 is AES256, SHA256, Diffie-Hellman Group 2. Authentication is set to use pre-shared keys. Host names will be used for IDs and the ID type will be FQDN. The host names used are R1 for the Cisco and DAL for the EX15. The Phase 2 transform set is AES256, SHA256 with Diffie-Hellman Group 2. The encryption domains or protected networks are 192.168.100.0/24 for the Cisco LAN and 192.168.20/24 for the DAL side LAN. Access list 190 is configured to allow IP traffic between the Cisco LAN and the EX15 LAN. First, I'll start a constant ping to the Cisco's LAN interface IP address over the VPN from my laptop. This shows there is no response from the remote Cisco over the VPN. Let's log into the Cisco and confirm there are no inbound VPNs active. No SAs are created at phase one or phase two. Now back to the EX15 and navigate into the configuration pages. Then click VPN, IPsec, Tunnels and add a new tunnel. Let's call this one Cisco underscore HQ. Scroll down and expand the authentication section. Pre-shared keys are in use. I'll type the key 123PSK123. Scroll down again and click on local endpoint. Then ID. The ID type is going to be FQDN and the value is DAL. Scroll down and expand the remote endpoint section. Add the host name, which is the IP address of the Cisco's one side interface. Click on ID. The type is FQDN and the host name is R1. A policy needs to be added to define the local and remote encryption domains or protected networks. I'm setting this to a custom network rather than tying it to an interface. If you use the network option, then the VPN activation state will depend on the LAN interface status. If the associated LAN interface is not up, then the VPN will not be established. If you want the VPN to be always on regardless of the LAN interface state, then you need to select custom network as I have done here and enter the LAN address range. This is my preferred method. The remote network is the Cisco LAN. Enter that here. Expand the Ike section. Ike v1 will be used and this is an aggressive mode VPN. The lifetimes should match on both sides, but a mismatch in lifetimes won't stop the VPN from being established. They will be negotiated between the two peers. Click on phase one proposals, then add a new proposal. This needs to match the Cisco settings of AES256, SHA256, Diffie-Hellman Group 2. Next, add a Phase 2 proposal, again matching the Cisco settings of AES256, SHA256, Diffie-Hellman Group 2. Finally, go into Dead Peer Detection and just make sure this is enabled. Scroll back to the top and apply the changes.
I can see on my other screen, monitoring the Cisco debug, that the VPN has come up. Let's have a look at that ping now. It's still timing out even though the VPN is up. This is because of the Linux connection tracking and routing still sending the ping out of the WAN interface without sending the packet over the VPN. So let's quit the ping and restart that in a moment. I'll check and confirm that the VPN is up. So back over to the Cisco and first check the Phase 1 SAs. This shows there is a Phase 1 SA and the peer IP address is 192.168.055. Next, check the Phase 2 SA and verify the local and remote networks are correct. Also notice that the packets encapsulated, encrypted, decapsulated and decrypted are all zero. I'll restart that ping now and we can see that's working. Let's check those packet stats again so we can prove the pings are over the VPN. And now we can see the packet counters are increasing. So that looks good. I'll check back on the EX15 that the VPN is currently shown as up and connected on there as well. So we need to click on status, IPsec, and here it shows that Cisco underscore HQ status is connected. Below are the local and remote networks from the EX15's point of view. This confirms the VPN is shown as up by both IPsec routers. And that brings this demo to an end. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.